Welcome to Greenville, Texas. This is the site of Phillips Field and Major Stadium. This is one of the most famous baseball stadiums in Texas. It's not much left, but this is history. Majors Field was the home of the Majors, which was a Greenville minor league club. In 1949, they played and defeated the New York Yankees. The major league team with Casey Stengel as the manager, Joe DiMaggio was in center field, and the Yankees went on to win the World Series that year. But they had a bad day here in Greenville. Now we are in Greenville to see if we can locate the grave of Monty Stratton and his wife Ethel Stratton. He was a major league pitcher for the Chicago White Sox. He had a hunting accident and lost his leg. His story, his comeback story, was a major Academy Award winning movie with Jimmy Stewart. Let's take a look at what's left. This is private property. Yeah, obviously the field is gone. And it looks like they have the equipment, electrical equipment lined up in the field. But yeah, this is the gate where you walked in to Major Stadium. This was a ticket booth. Get your ticket and walk in the gate. Not much left out here. They do have a historical marker. Take a look at that. Baseball history. In 1946, the field was realigned to become the home of a minor league baseball team, the Majors. Named for Truett Majors, the first Greenville resident killed in World War II. More than 160,000 people attended Majors games in 1946, and Greenville fielded a number of competitive teams in the late 1940s. In 1947, the football stands were raised and replaced with a baseball stadium. On April 10, 1949, the Majors hosted an exhibition game against the New York Yankees, defeating them 4-3. Among those who participated for the Yankees that day were Casey Stengel, the manager, and Joe DiMaggio in center field. Another baseball great who played here was Monty Stratton, a Greenville native who pitched a game for the Majors in 1950. 
Attendance at Majors games declined by 1950 and the team folded before the following season. Today the stadium's arched entryway built by the Works Progress Administration in 1940 serves as a reminder of the countless athletes and fans who gathered here in the spirit of competition. Yeah, this was the place where the Yankees had a bad day. Greenville, Texas Major Stadium. I stopped earlier at the Audie Murphy Cotton Museum here in Greenville. And they have a display for Monty Stratton, his uniform and baseballs. Here's a clip from my visit to the museum. Monty Stratton, White Sox pitcher. This is Memoryland Memorial Park in Greenville, Texas. And we're here today to see if we can locate the grave of Monty Stratton. Monty Stratton was born May 21st, 1912 in Palacios, Texas. He died September 29th, 1982 at the age of 70 in Greenville, Texas. He died due to cancer. Monty pitched five years for the Chicago White Sox, 1934 to 1938. His record was 36 wins, 23 losses. In 1937, he won 15 games and made the American League All-Star team. On November 27, 1938, Monty Stratton was hunting rabbits and fell accidentally discharging his shotgun. The pellet struck his right leg, damaging an artery, enough to require amputation. And the next two years, he worked with the White Sox as a coach and batting practice pitcher. In the 1940s, he organized the semi-pro baseball team in Greenville. He went on to pitch for the Sherman Twins and Waco Dons 
and other teams. His main problem with his comeback was that the other team started bunning. He was unable to transfer his weight to the artificial leg to pick up the bunts. His comeback attempt became a 1949 Academy Award winning movie, The Stratton Story, starring Jimmy Stewart and June Allison. It was a baseball comeback story, but it was also a love story between Monty and Ethel. He lived for many years on a 93-acre farm in Greenville, Texas. Monty and Ethel had two children. Monty relearned how to pitch, primarily pitching to Ethel and against the side of a barn. This is the entrance to the cemetery. And when you come in, there's a big flag. And from here, you can spot the grave of Monty Stratton. You take a right and go down this road and from here you can see the baseball. Rawlings Baseball. Monty, 1912 to 1982, Stratton, Ethel E, 1916 to 2006, together forever. And next to them is Dennis Lee Stratton, 1940 to 1964.